Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to cover procurement service management, and in particular, the uh, new dashboards that come with procurement service management. So I'm logged in as Warren, one of our demo personas, and I'm going to call your attention to the upper right here, where we've got a procurement buyer dashboard, strategy and ops dashboard, team performance, and case management. So let's start with the top, to the procurement buyer dashboard to show you what's going on here. Um, so in procurement, we're sourcing and negotiating things. And so you see I've got uh, a widget or, uh, yeah, widgets for my open sourcing requests, um, open negotiations, expiring contracts. I've got uh, open sourcing requests by due date there in the middle, lots of stuff overdue. And then my open negotiations by due date, expiring contracts by due date, lots and lots of widgets going on, open task types, open purchasing task types. Um, open purchase requisitions and aging purchase requisitions. If we look at the achievements for this particular procurement buyer, how much money are they saving um, year to date? Or how much are they spending year to date? How much money are they saving? Um, how many, uh, what are the negotiation, negotiation outcomes year to date? Cost avoidance, standards saving, or contract terms negotiated. Here's my average sourcing request cycle time, average purchase requisition cycle time. Um, on that particular dashboard. Next up, we're going to go to strategy and ops. All right, this is about how much we're doing, how much we're saving, and how is that progressing through the flow or through the different workflows. So here we've got total spend um, year to date, spend categorization year to date, total savings year to date, negotiation outcomes year to date. Um, you get the idea there, spend category broken down, spend by supplier broken down, and then utilization of blanket or uh, active blanket purchase orders. Um, so we can see there that reseller C has got a, one open for 100% and 53.3%. And um, all of this, by the way, if you look in the upper left, is filterable. So all these widgets, if we wanted to go by cost center or department, I can select a particular department, let's say accounting and finance, um, and apply that, and it'll filter all those things. But for the demo, we're going to clear that filter so it um, keeps that. So under operations, open sourcing requests, negotiations, expiring contracts, uh, sourcing requests by due date, expiring contracts by end date, age, aging purchase requisitions, open purchase requisitions, lots and lots of stuff going on there. Third dashboard, team performance. So how is the team performing? Um, so here we've got a couple of widgets showing the request cycle time, last month uh, sourcing request cycle time, last month purchase requisition cycle time, and then average sourcing, average purchase requisition, negotiated savings by buyer, right? So we got a little leaderboard there. Um, to, to motivate people and then negotiation negotiation outcomes by buyer year to date so we can see who's uh, doing the negotiation and actually saving money or avoiding costs um, stuff like that last dashboard to show is the procurement case management dashboard if you haven't already I did a procurement agent workspace video check that out I'll put a link at the top but here we've got an overview of all the cases open procurement cases by type open procurement cases by department, open procurement cases by assignment group, and two widgets that have no data because I'm in a demo environment. Now don't forget, on these dashboards, everything I just showed, it's all interactive. So you can click on these, it'll take you to the records, you can open the records directly from the dashboards. We don't do static reporting in ServiceNow, we do dynamic reporting in ServiceNow. That's it for the procurement service management dashboards. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one.